Welcome back to another video. Today I'm reacting to one of the best rappers in the world, GD. Yes, if you didn't know, now you know. And today I'm reacting to his song, Crooked, in This Love, in the live performance of the 2017 Act 3 Mote in CO. Now we know GD is one of the best lyrical writers in the world. So today I'm going to really focus in on his lyrics, on what he's saying, and to try to break it down a little bit, as well as his performance, his stage presence. I want to focus on that more. We know he can sing, we know he can rap, so I'm going to focus on those two things today. I'm also going to react to the MV, you feel me? So let's, let's check it out, let's just get into it. This love is just not a Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just told y'all in the beginning that I was not going to talk about his vocals or his rapping because we know it's incredible, but I had to stop it. Did y'all not just hear that? I know he can sing, but I think that's the best I've ever sound heard him sing. You feel me? On top of that, it felt like an angel just descended from heaven and was right next to me and was singing in my ear. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, GD, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This song is familiar. It, like some BGs or some, uh, what's her name? Lauren Hill? Or some Snoop Dogg? Maybe not Snoop Dogg, maybe a reach. The beat kind of does sound like some, uh,. Dr. Dre? I don't know, bro. Ooh, he said I inflated false expectations and misunderstood. Y'all not understanding that bar right there. Some of us have some inflated expectations, especially, I'm going to be honest, as a man, I'm going to talk about it for my men out there. There's women with expectations that it don't even make sense. I'm like, where did you even get that expectation from? Because that, that just is, is it don't make sense. You feel me? And then they have that expectation on that guy or man, and then they start talking to him, and then it just don't work out, you know, because their expectations is too high or just they don't have any. Um, and then they be misunderstanding a lot of what that person is or about because the expectation is like up here. You feel me? They need a man with a hundred K. Hundred K a year? Hey, GD. Hey. Hey. GD. Don't like a woman with a man. I know it's tempting. They look better with a boyfriend for some reason. Don't do it. <laughs> What is that, Maroon 5? Who is that? That's from, there's no way he took two of some classic songs, put them together and made a song. GD, bro, you're genius. And, and I need to talk to you because, look, I just can't let you walk around here being that genius, bro, and just delivering hits and hits and hits, bro. What? For free? Didn't I mention to y'all that covers is hard? Doing samples is very difficult. CD, you make this show one song. Ooh, 
can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I felt this. <laughs> I felt this ball. September 19th is the birthday of my ex girlfriend, bro. And she left me, dog. <laughs> She left me in her birthday September. Wait, wait, GD, is it the same girl? Is we talking about the? Cause she did cheat on me. She did cheat on me. GD, bro. Whoa. To be honest, I feel like when lyrics are more personal, you can really get in, like you can relive that moment again and then be able to show that on stage. And I think that's what he does every performance because it's so personal. It's not like he's rapping about something he didn't live. I feel like if you if he were to do that, then it would be hard to like connect with the song and his performance you'll see that in but because he relates because his songs are about him and and they're very vulnerable and deep that when he performs it it just brings out all that emotion as when he was going through it which that's what we see here on stage is really cool i want to say what's up with his outfit is that showing like all the struggles and pain that he went through all the blood that he may have shed um and all the hurt he went through to be in the position he's in now you feel me and that's why it's like bloody and dirty and, and stuff this This guy is just People think Kanye West is a genius? GD might be above him, I'm gonna be honest with you. That smile, that little smile. You know what you're doing, GD. That little smile is, again, I just mentioned Kanye. We know Kanye don't smile whatsoever. But when people see him smile just a little bit, they get super happy because they like, man, we know what he's he's doing and going through and, you know, mental health and all these different aspects. So it's difficult for him to smile. You feel me? And he got all this money and, and there's so much going on in his life. I, I don't know much about, like too much about it, but that little smile when he does it, it's like, I'm happy to see that. And same with GD. It's like, I'm happy to see you smile no matter what you've been through, bro. Whether it's just a little quick five second smile and then you, you know, turn back to normal, that's okay. But like, thank you for that. That, that was good. I need to you wanna go Leave me alone. I was alone anyways. Look it. I, I felt this recently. And not to try to put my shoes in his shoes. For our shoes are very different. Um, but I do want to understand a bit more of, you know, the shoes he has walked in. Um, I felt this recently where, like, I've been alone. And so it's like, I don't need you to try to come into my life and try to, like, play like you like me. Or play that you're cool with me. And, like, it's cool. Like, I've been alone. I, I understand what it feels. I'm okay with it now. Like, I don't need you to try to make me not feel alone, if that makes sense. Wow. Got 
this man has been through so much, and I want to say every emotion, everything that he's ever, ever, ever been through, I feel like he has said it in his music. I don't feel like there's anything that he has hidden from his fans or even in his music. Like, he says, he lays it all on the line. And I like this song, Crooked, because it's just, we all have gotten in this place, whether we lost someone, whether we were heartbroken, whether things just didn't go quite right. And we, you know, our life has changed and, and it hasn't changed in the best. Where we go out and we do some reckless things, you know. And we should, we all deserve grace and empathy for it because, you know, we, we have to understand what that person has gone through uh, just a little bit. And um, he's just talking about that. You know, he went out there doing some gangster stuff, some, you know, get, uh, causing fights, you know, just venting to people. Have y'all ever just randomly vented to people just for the sake of, like, being alone and bored? Bro, I've been there. I, I, GD, bro, you're so human, it's ridiculous how human you are. And I thank you for sharing it, too. Because people hide it. Case the final case, Nara, Mitsuno Taikyu say, Kara, Skina Mono, Erabuto, Dikimas. Ultra Bounce. He really just allows himself to fully invest in every emotion in the song to perform. Like, you can see it in his body language. You hear it in his voice. You see him, you know, his stage presence. Like, he shows every bit of it, and it just, it's crazy. It's crazy. I my pain to feel So why lyric is crazy So why Don't fix you more to walk See the now with the door to walk So that guy will put the guy in your door So that guy will put the top in your door More than that I go Oh my god No I now make no panic in walk You're such a nigga Oh so can I go to so Take it so God I got no mistake Look it, this is what I mean. This is the expression I like. Just go crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like he deserves a hug right now. Like, I wish I did know him, because I would just randomly pop up and just give him a hug. No words, nothing said, just a hug. You know, just to let him know that, bruh, you're loved, bro. You're worthy, bro. Like, you may feel alone, but you're not alone anymore, bro. That we gotta be able to let go of that alone feeling and know that we all love you and support you. Man, he deserves so much, man. challenging feeling and being alone when you're around a bunch of people 
or literally, for example, I moved to Japan in a country where English is not really spoken. So obviously I'm alone, not only that I don't have friends, but on top of that, the language barrier. And like Japanese people are really shy, so they, they really don't go out of their way to speak to you. You feel me? So it's like, is it worse? Not worse, but is it more challenging to experience that kind of loneliness? Or when you're around family, friends, and supported, and have everything around you, but then you still feel that loneliness. Oh, that's, that's a tough one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is a church beat. You have your little thing? We already know that GD bodies every performance. Any stage he steps on, he's going to destroy the stage. We know that. I love focusing on his lyrics because the power and meaning behind it. He, again, he says things in such a simple way. Like, he don't use some crazy complex vocabulary um, to try to express his feelings. He said it in a way that is so relatable and digestible that anyone could really feel and understand what he is saying. But he does it in such, like, a creative way fun way. It, it, I don't I don't understand how he does it. So already I see three different kind of outfit change. It seems like three different personas that he's about to give us. Um three different stories that he's about to tell us um all based on, you know, the emotions of feeling crooked. I'm really excited to see this, man. Yeah, wanna go I love that because you're running. And when you're doing that, you really feel like you're just running to an awesome marathon. Nowhere to go. Look it, look it. He mentioned in his song that he be causing fights out of boredom for no reason. And he just did that. He bumped into his girl and he knew the other dude was gonna get upset. You're not gonna let a man just bump into your girl and just stand there. But GD initiated first, showing that like he was the one causing the problems, that there was no reason to cause. On top of that, you saw him like in a tunnel, just kind of like, you know, kind of just, just zoned out, like hurt, pain, like feeling a bunch of pain, um, which is very unique, man. The way he portrays it, the way he says his lyrics, and then the way he's able to bring them lyrics to life, <laughs> Tattoos, piercings, dyeing your hair is like the biggest thing people go to to so, so, like feel something, you know, it's a change. The crazy part about this too is he's talking about like leave me alone because I feel alone like I'm, I'm I'm alone you feel me and in this video he's alone like he it's not like he had friends with him that was trying to tell him to stop don't do this like he's literally alone trying to feel some type of way and so he's causing fights you know he's going into clubs getting kicked out and he's like when he leaves it and he goes away it's still just him like he, he, there's no one to run to to then ask for help. Wow. Oh. Oh, 
so many different aspects of life where he is experiencing just pain you know we know that when you're going through something very deep and you you know you tend to get into some trouble and it's not just in one area you get in trouble in relationships you get in trouble at work you get in trouble in everything and it, it's almost like every area kind of sinks boom and crashes and then you have to rebuild and start over and you start to rebuild this new person um you know, and become more of who you are and you learn to heal and learn to grow. <laughs> the glove look fun though, right? I'm like, come on. You need to send an invite next time. I almost don't want to see it like this at the same time. My question is, what age is he at this point? What age is he? Because we know he went through a lot at such a young age. Imagine being a young child going through just anything. Not even just what he went through, but just a lot of stuff at a young age. Like... You, your brain ain't fully developed. You don't know how to process anything. You feel me? And like you're so easily able to be swayed to this way or this way or that way. So it's like, I wonder what age he's going through this. Um, because it seems like he doesn't have much guidance. And I don't know if he talks about his parents much in his music. You know, if they helped him or not. Or like was there to support him. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they were. Um... But I don't think I hear it much. It was really good. Great video overall. I love the way he expressed himself through the video. It really helped me understand that emotion that he's feeling. Again, he's the best when it comes to that. GD really is good at just giving you raw emotion and letting you express it. So that was fire. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.